All right, greetings everyone, and it is time to talk about WOTA, what is on the docket for the week of mid-October. Yes, October 11th is when we are recording this, and uh, there is some stuff happening this week. So, pretty exciting for both sides, and uh, this is a big moment, I think, for Globalers, because while JP kind of has its anniversary and everything coming up, I mean, we, we, we kind of have a little bit of an understanding about how things are going to go for the next little bit. But, as for global players, you guys have had a slew of banners, and there's a little event coming up called Halloween, which a lot of people are excited for a very specific character to get her EX. But, Recently, from the TGS live stream, we did find out that uh, we are going to be getting a Halloween Frederica. No idea what her element or jobs are, although it, you know, given the history of a lot of these variants of characters, they're usually pretty different from their main jobs. They're usually like a different element, uh, different jobs, all that, all that kind of stuff, and usually not the same type. So it's hard to say exactly where she will end up. Um, I'm kind of hoping for a fist character, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, so tomorrow is the JP live stream at 8.30 p.m., roughly about 24, 23 and a half hours from when this video will go live on YouTube. So yeah, um, but this is just going to be uh, information for the for our next characters, possibly vision cards, maybe some events and definitely Halloween units, both the Halloween units and the EXs will be be discussed. The, the details will come out on this live stream because they have to finish fill an hour and a half with some content. So that's definitely going to be it. Whether or not we'll see the next um, uh, the next part of the Warriors of the Crystals, don't entirely know. But there should be a good amount of information on this live stream. Should be uh, noted too that Final Fantasy IV is also coming to a close on the JP side. It's just uh, maybe a couple more days and we're going to be out of it. And then there's no collaboration. And there's still roughly about a month until the you know, second year anniversary on November 14th. So wouldn't it just be a perfect time for a collaboration to show up again? I don't know, maybe FF14, for example. We definitely know it won't be tactics, so don't get too excited. But as for a new collaboration, that'll probably be happening at the second anniversary. So, uh, yeah, I, I've said so a lot. So, and I just said it again. Damn it. Stop it. We're going to see uh, some Halloween announcements. But the question is, are we going to see something extra? Don't know. There's no mention here. We're just going to have to wait and find out when this live stream happens tomorrow but the good news is it's right away and this uh, kind of goes into what we're going to talk about next which is globals week and uh yeah globals week is pretty simple uh simple in the sense of what is coming and why or why not you are interested in it so first of all Jaden rundell uh one of the great leaders in wotiv great with uh, uh possible uh, question marks, uh, all over the place, but yeah, um, King of the Stags, Black Mage, Red Mage, he's essentially a, magi a magical type character, uh, he can destroy barriers, do, uh, has a multi-hit combo, and I don't need to say why he's good, very clearly on the JP side right now, there are a lot of top level guilds that are going just pure light element, uh, with uh, Fina, Jaden, and usually Engelbert. That's just the combination. Some people wonder, why not Warrior of Light? Well, Warrior of Light wasn't popular on the JP side, and even then, Engelbert seems to be doing damn good enough, so there's no point in really uh, worrying too much about it. Engelbert is just a good source of damage. I think better than Warrior of Light, but don't quote me on that. I don't really have either ready to be tested, but that's my understanding. 
So yeah, uh, what we're looking at here is basically this new character. And uh, if you're in on the light element, if you're looking for a magical partner for a magical time with magical Elena, well, then this is a great character for it. He is a range type character, but essentially deals magic damage and uses the magic stat. He's very interesting and very unique in that way. And he will be a rounding out the light elemental compositions on global anyway so if you're if you have been soaked into the light element this is probably a character you have to get and build and uh, speaking of that uh, not only him but there is a light vision card here and this vision card I think it's de I think it's debatable whether or not you really need this. I mean, there is a brand new light vision card from Elena already. Obviously, the more the merrier. But here we're looking at area attack resistance up and missile attack up with uh, unlocking at max dexterity up. Light attribute at units uh, for the bestowed effect will also get a light attack up bonus. But for some reason on this vision card. There's also a global upgrade for Jaden to get max HP up and acquired AP up. And honestly, that's a strong get. I mean, Jaden was already on one of the top teams on JP side, and now they're giving him a boost on his personal vision card. If you're going to do the Engelbert, Fina, Jaden combo, yeah, this is probably a pretty good vision card and pretty necessary to get M max if you want to run that team. If you don't want to run that team, if you're looking at running Elena plus Jaden or, you know, some combination of all of this stuff, then, well, um, vision card is probably a pass. But Jaden, I think, if you're, if you're just in on the light element, he seems to be pretty crucial to it. But that's not all. We also have a new mid-tier vision card. And honestly, this vision card, I I get it. I get why this pierce attack up, accuracy up, uh, slash attack resistance up if you max it. This is for ice units and bestowed effect is pierce attack up. You know, if yeah, there was an ice character with a spear, this vision card would be very good for that character. And other than that, I don't really have anything else to say about it. So Tranquil Warmth, very nice piece of equipment, or very nice vision card, I should say, which is a piece of equipment. But, you know, I, I think that there's really not too much to talk about here. Uh, we're going to have the uh, story chapter. We're going to have a 1.5 anniversary campaign because that never ends. And the big thing this week is uh, in terms of, like, actual content content beside the raid that we'll talk about in a second is in the search of thunder edge uh a side story with Volush as well as a couple of other characters which you'll get to know in quick fashion but the main thing is the quasar gun and the quasar gun is just something that everybody should farm if you have even a passing interest in getting Jaden in the future you need the quasar gun there is no weapon that is really similar to it the quasar gun is just really like it's essentially is a piece of equipment he is such a unique character and it is such a piece of equipment that just like no other gun will really do you, you should probably just farm it get the recipes don't even worry about crafting it necessarily unless you are going to be building him but this piece of equipment is really important for Jaden, and I don't really remember too many times it's come back on JP. So yeah, just do it now, get it done, and it doesn't matter because you're going to be farming raids anyway, so you got to spend the stamina, so there you go. And speaking of which, talking about the last thing here, is the Omega Raid, and um, this is going to be brain dead easy for global for the most part i mean light elemental characters have been raining from the sky recently and even though omega is weak to light shooting type attacks um <clears throat> it might be a little bit difficult to uh build Jaden in such a short amount of time uh starlit elaine is a bonus i mean for everyone who got her obviously but you can run this isn't exactly the most difficult raid from what I remember. I think it was 
pretty easy. So it's it's just going to be a fairly simple one, which is good because it is an important raid to do. Uh, the piece of equipment off of it is the diamond coat. And the diamond coat is a really, really, really nice piece of equipment. I'm trying to think if I even have... Um, I think it's in my crafting somewhere. Let me just change over and I'll bring it up in a second. As soon as I find it in this pile, there it is. It's a really strong piece of equipment. It is essentially something that you need in the future for any uh, range-based character. And there are a few good range characters in the future, like Satya. And as you can see, you need a high amount of the pink yarn balls as well as the blue yarn balls. So you better get farming global because this thing... Yeah, it's, 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 it's a really nice piece of equipment. And almost, I would say, just necessary. Does that mean you need three plus fives? No, two plus fives is probably reaching enough. But hey, if you can do that level of farming, go for it. But I do think you should try and get at least a plus four on this. Otherwise, I think you'll be missing it. There will be more chances in the future, but um, good idea to get started. So yeah, with all of that being said, do I recommend Jaden? For anybody and everybody not quite yet let's wait and see what happens tomorrow on live stream what the halloween units look like and uh, that might give us a better hunch as to whether or not other uh, resources are going to be super well spent because the halloween corner units will be coming right around the corner for global because it turns out that uh, pumpkin sales just fall right off directly after um Halloween, as it turns out. So, yeah. Uh, Frederica is definitely a lock for this year. I don't think it was... Uh, some people have asked even, do I think it's some kind of leak? Do I think it was intentional? It was intentional. Somebody had to okay that piece of merchandise going on that show. So, it, it's pretty intentional. But if you're wondering who I think is going to get the second Halloween unit, if there is a second Halloween unit, well, the obvious one is Engelbert, and so I'm going to be your far 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 away from that and i'm just gonna say socia there you go socia and uh frederica let's see it happen tomorrow so tune in tomorrow uh, i will be restreaming that of course uh, join me if you're interested and uh we'll see what happens and for people who can't make it I will make a summary video later. So thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.